What's up YouTube Capital G here gonna do a YCS Toronto kind of wrap up and recap video I got a lot of people sending me messages a lot of people um, Leaving comments saying cap you called it wind ups didn't win when are you gonna do a video and it, I came kind of to like a loss of words It's like what can I really say? I mean, I told you so uh, uh, Quite frankly the fact that wind ups didn't win this event I can go no higher than a one on my shock meter because I told you guys they wouldn't win because I predicted it and it was a perfect storm for that deck not to be successful on this particular day. Everything kind of came to fruition. And if you look at these top 32 deck lists, like what singular attribute do you notice in all of them? Like Maxi was everywhere. I mean, six samurais. Uh, I'm six samurais, heretic. I'm pretty sure that Robbie was running his and gadgets. Like all, even all the random decks that you saw, top 32, all of them were running Max C. There were so many decks side decking three copies of Rivalry, three copies of Goes and Match. It's like windups had to run the gauntlet, and then they had to run the gauntlet of everybody being everybody being so prepared for the deck that I, I really couldn't see the deck overcoming that. Like you already have to play every single obscure matchup you can think of but now people are main decking answers that just completely wreck your deck and when every single person is main decking multiple max C's, you know the only option or conclusion i could come to was that and uh wind up saying winning this event you know what i mean um interesting things that happen i talked about it in another video billy break playing in sectors was genius i was actually it was one of the um, can potential candidates for my next regional on the six just because you look at the way the meta is shaping um, Effect Valor is losing ground to max C that helps in sectors D prison and mirror force are being ran in twos and threes that helps in sectors Thunder King Ryo is probably one of the most popular offensive opening plays as opposed to snowman eater Which is one of the most popular defensive plays Again, Insectors rape those, Insectors wreck all those things because Hornet is not unaffected by any of those options in any of any of those situations that I just named. So, you know, uh, obviously Insectors, I mean, they, the deck doesn't even really have to be good. It's more or less just matchups. Uh, I'm really interested not only to see the Heratic, I think I'm most interested to see Robbie's deck because I'm probably going to make just a video on his deck and why I think it did well. But if he really ran the deck like I think he did, then oh my goodness I mean that 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 was just a clear meta pick and it was an absolutely beautiful one um, as far as Samurai's winning again I'm at a 10 on the shock meter and the reason why it's not because Samurai's is a bad deck or anything I don't think that their windup match is particularly good game two and three they have it all over windups because they side deck so much hate like robbery or warlords and stuff like that but um the reason I didn't think that Samurai would have any type of success in this uh, event, because you look at the cards that hurt windups exponentially, and they pretty much hurt Samurai too. Uh, goes and match. Uh, you know, they can't really synchro unless they go like Elder Kagemusha. Uh, you think about Max C, that hurt Samurai, because all their plays, all their synchro plays are, you know, you know, they have to special summon multiple times that turn. If they open Gateway, granted they can OTK you, you know, Max C hurts them a lot, and... I, I don't know. It's the deck is it's too predicated on legendary six samurai Shien for my taste. Like if people, the deck feels like the Chicago Bulls. It, it's so Derrick Rose or bust, and Derrick Rose is obviously legendary six samurai Shien. Like if you lose him on the field, you pretty much lose the game, and if you can't make him, you're pretty much going to lose the game. So I don't like a deck that's so that's so one card or bust. That that's my personal opinion. I don't think Samurais are a very good pick moving forward unless you look at, you know, the specific event and you, you see that, you know, there are a lot of decks like Dark World uh, or Dino Rabbit that might be hurt by that. But I still really don't like the deck in this meta. Um, it was interesting to see that Chaos Dragon still topped. Uh, I still don't like the deck as much as other people. Quite frankly, I think I'd rather run Agents because it seems like it has a little more control over its plays. But, um, yeah, this was definitely an interesting event. Um, definitely big ups to Heratic. I've never played the deck personally. It is something that I would consider testing as soon as the guy's deck list comes out. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, the wind-up the wind up prediction, wind-up's not winning, it wasn't really that shocking. I mean, all you had to look at was just how the format was shaping up and 
you know, previous information and results that we've had from YCSs, and it was pretty obvious that everybody and their mama was just going to try and beat windups. And the deck wasn't that much better than everything else to where it could handle that. So, sorry guys. Thank you guys for watching as always.